Hi, my name's Ashley Rice. I'm Lowell Rice. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, we are going to the first ever vegan invasion that is happening in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. I'm super excited. I don't really completely know what to expect. There's going to be lots of yummy, yummy food and there's going to be some vendors. Um, I'm kind of guessing it's going to be a little bit like, um, like a fair essentially. And this year it's going to be at Lake Monster Brewing over in St. Paul mm -hmm. and they've hosted a couple of other vegan events over there. Yeah. It's been a couple of times that they've had the uh, vegan food trucks out too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to have lunch there. We're going to look at some other stuff. I'm going to share as much footage as I possibly can. I'm super excited to see what this event is going to be like. I hope they keep doing it because it sounds like there's going to be a lot of vendors there. So I'm like really, really excited. I'm hoping it's not all food based because we're not going to be able to eat like too, too, too much because we just ate lunch not too long ago and we can't stay for an extreme amount of time because I have a show tonight. Yeah, they had a whole thing where... They're doing a lot of alcohol tasting too, mm -hmm. and so they had a different ticket price if you were a designated driver or not drinking versus if you're, you know, partaking in the alcohol. Yes, I'm the designated driver because <laughs> I have a show tonight. <laughs> I am super excited to see the whole Minnesota vegan community together. I know it's going to be like a huge event. I am in a vegan Minnesota group and like people have been talking about it nonstop and like the Facebook event has been blowing up and so I'm really really excited just to check it out. I also know like Herb Rivers Butcher is going to be there, Jay Selby's is going to be there, Vegan East is going to be there. And the nice thing is I'm sure it won't just be vegans at the event either. Yeah. There's going to be a few Omnis like me who are just going along because they're curious or mm -hmm. want to see what's available. Yeah, a couple of my friends marked that they were interested and they're not vegan. Um, and they're just like curious or they're vegetarian or like they like vegan food. They just haven't made that switch or they just don't, they're not thinking about making it yet. So. Or people who are just trying to avoid red meat and want more yeah. than just a couple of non red meat meat options. Yep, yep, yep. But it should be really, really fun, you guys. The sky is looking clear. It's going to be a hot one, I'm told. So we're going to bring a water bottle to share. But other than that, let's get going. But before we go, it's cuddle time. Cuddle, cuddle, Okay, we're going now. We are finally leaving. Here we go.
It is so hot. Uh, we got here a little bit before one because that's when they opened for non-VIP people, um, people who bought the cheaper tickets. And it is now three. It is hot. We are sweaty. We are We're going home. Go home. Yes. Okay. We just made it back. I think you can see how red I am. Let me turn on the lights. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a little red today. Daisies. So today we really wanted to focus on tackling some companies that we don't see too often or we have never seen before and just trying some of their food. So for lunch we got those barbecue wings and mac and cheese. The amount of sauce that they were able to like pack onto those without it like falling off and being really messy like really really amazed me. Like honestly it was so good. Their mac and cheese was pretty good but their buffalo wings like blew me out of the park. They were so yummy. Another company that we like to support whenever we see them is Prairie Bean Pies because we don't see them very often and so we got their cherry pie that looks delicious. We also got these when we walked in. Uh, we each got one of them and they're these little drinking cups. They're so cute. There was a company called Sherub Shrubs and it's basically fermented fruit and he recommended that you mix it in with certain like recipes or you can do a drink of it or sort of like apple cider vinegar in a way. So we got the apple rosemary. I'm super excited because this tasted really really good. I've been meaning to try out this, how do you think you say this? Grilic? Garlic. But there's no A. Garlic. Grillic, I think it's Grillic um, brand. And so we got their Harissa Saffron. Guys, it was so good. We had to try it there. Mm, mm, so tasty. I got an amazing t-shirt that I'm super excited to wear. But yeah, I got 99 problems and protein ate one. Sincerely, vegans everywhere. I just thought it was really funny and really cool. So I got that. I uh, edited the alcohol tasting tour and there was one of the companies that was doing some really good mixed drinks. It was like a- It had bourbon, rum, and strawberry daiquiri mix and it was like it real sweet and tasty. Another company we got to try some samples of was Vixed. Uh, they had a banana bread that looked really, really good, but we were already spending so much more money. <laughs> And so we're like, okay, we should probably not get it. But we got their card so we could remember. Another company that we had seen before was Coconut Whisk. And so we finally caved in and bought some of their Snickerdoodle cookie mix, which I'm super excited to try out. Mm -hmm. We also got some shaved ice before we left because it was so, so, so hot. So we got some of that, which was delicious, by the way. So good. They put a uh, vegan Cool Whip on the top of it. And I was like, this is a really cool idea. Now we're gonna go take showers because I have a theater performance I have to do outdoors today. So that's really exciting. I get to go back out in the heat. But we had lots of fun, you guys. Uh, I always think it's really, really cool to go check out these vegan events. You should find out if there's any in your area, depending on where you're located. They might have a few like small events where a couple people get together or you might have big events like this because there were like lots of people there you guys but i would highly recommend seeing if there are any in your area and checking them out you can meet a lot of amazing people a lot of amazing companies and i'm super excited to be able to use all the products that we got today okay guys i hope you enjoyed this vlogish style video let me know if you want to see more events like this in the twin cities because i'll a try and get to more when i'm not as busy but b i'll try and film them more when i go to them because some of them i just don't film 
Um, but let me know if you want to see more of this content on my channel. Also, if you are new, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for future videos that I post. Make sure to also give this video a thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.